What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna talk about boots versus straps and why you might wanna switch. Let's go. One, three, five, go! Coming from the wild, wild west indeed. Okay guys, so today we're gonna be talking about boots versus straps. Why do people ride straps and why do people ride boots? That's a question I actually get asked a lot. So today we're gonna to touch on everything you need to know about riding straps and also riding boots. Let's go. Okay guys, so as you know, if you are a kiteboarder, you probably win foot straps because foot straps are what every kiteboarder starts out on because it's very easy to get in and out of the board. And then a lot of people who kind of grow into being advanced riders and are really into big air or board off style riding, they continue to ride straps because it keeps their board set up really light and it also allows them to, you know, pop the board off their feet and do some board off maneuvers. But then a lot of people also consider switching to boots because if you're not that into big air and you're not that into board offs, boots are actually a great option to try out because you get a lot of benefits to being locked into the board. So yeah, let's touch a little bit on what it's like and why you might want to ride boots. Okay guys, so boots. Why do people ride boots? That's the big question, right? Basically, being locked into your board gives you a lot of advantages. One, you never ever lose your board. Whereas on foot straps, you probably lose your board nearly every session if you're doing any sort of tricks. And this was kind of one of the main reasons why my girlfriend Megan switched to boots because she just absolutely hated losing her board. So she's like, I want boots. I never have to one hand body drag to my board ever again. And yeah, that's exactly why she did it. And now she actually gets access to all the other benefits of riding boots. Because with riding boots, when you're locked into your board, you also get the benefit of being able to hold on more power. You get the benefit of being able to land harder because you got a bit more cushion under your feet. And your ankles are also protected because you're kind of locked into this boot, just kind of like a workman boot. Your feet are protected, your ankles are secure, and you just have the ability to kind of be a bit more rugged with whatever you're doing. And you also get the benefit of getting better board control. Because you're attached to your board, every little toe and heel movement is pretty much exactly what your foot does is amplified you don't lose any energy because if you flick your toes you're actually lifting the board with you whereas with foot straps you're you can be slotted into the straps but you lose a lot of energy by just you know lifting toes or lifting heels because your feet are always a little bit loose in the foot straps so yeah to kind of sum things up the main benefits of riding boots are you just get a lot more of a locked in feeling you can hold on more power and you can just ride a bit harder than you would be able to ride with foot straps. That's why you see a lot of guys in the freestyle uh, discipline of kiting, in the park style discipline of kiting, they all ride boots because they can hold on a lot more power, hit features, hit obstacles, have their feet protected, and just be able to, you know, kind of four wheel drive around the ocean or the park or wherever they're shredding. But with that said, there are also some cons to riding boots. You know, when you first start riding boots, it can be a little bit annoying getting in and out of your boots because, you know, you gotta get them on, you gotta lace them up, you gotta tie them down. So that takes a little getting used to. And also, when you wipe out, you can wipe out a lot harder. Because on foot straps, when you wipe out, you kinda just fall, your board comes off, and you kinda just skip across the water. Whereas with boots, when you wipe out, your board can kinda become an anchor. So you can end up crashing super duper hard. You obviously can learn how to crash with boots, but that's something that you just got to be aware of. But besides being able to crash harder and also getting used to getting in and out of the boots, there are not really many downsides. Back in the day, one of the big downsides used to be weight, but these days, boots and straps are almost the same weight. So yeah, if you ever thought about riding boots, maybe this video kind of will push you over the edge to at least give it a go. Basically, boots are for anyone who's been kiting for a little while. You're super comfortable doing a few tricks. You can jump, you can kind of start and start from the beach, and maybe you're just tired of losing your board every session. Uh, you're pretty much ready for boots. Uh, 
<laughs> Isn't kiteboarding such a fun sport? So yeah guys, uh, that pretty much sums up today's video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna be touching a little bit more on this topic of riding boots and kind of dive into the nitty gritty details of everything you need to know about setting up and using boots. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a comment down below letting me know that you found some value in it. And also check out my Patreon page because I'm on a mission to use YouTube, to use these videos, to kind of answer any question that any kiteboarder is gonna have so if you want to be a part of that journey check out my patreon page it'll be linked above and also linked down in the description below and before you go if you want to check out my personal setup my board my boots all that stuff it will be linked down in the description as well and with that said if you really want to see the next video subscribe no I'm asking a lot here but I really kind of just want to make sure that the videos are reaching people see so yeah, you guys that's pretty much it. Uh, big thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys soon in another video. Peace, love, and big ups.